Hey everybody, it's Niall Lucy here with PRN Tech, and do I have something quite exciting to show you? It is a mystery box. Now, it's kind of giving it away that the big Dell Financial Services tape is all over this thing, so you could probably assume that it is some sort of Dell product. But we are gonna be opening up this because I actually don't really know a whole lot about what's in this box. It was sent to me by our good friends over at Unique Box Solution Informatique. They sent us this box to be able to play with and show off here on PRN Tech. So without spending too much time, let's get right into this. Get rid of all of this security tape from Dell Financial Services Canada, which I did not know existed up until about two hours ago. And we're gonna open it up pretty straightforward with our Dollarama scissors here. And we're gonna see what we've got inside this box. Got a piece, actually we got a, an envelope. This is probably Ooh, it's a whole bunch of stickers. So we're gonna put those over there. And then got a whole bunch of wrapping, obviously. Whoa! Got a very long power cord there. A very short power cord there. And really the whole reason we're looking at this here. Oh my god, it's heavier than I thought it would be. We're going to pick it up. At the same time, we're going to lose the box. Just like that. Whoa. Now, if you don't know what this is yet, I can forgive you because most people don't do server hardware. But that's what this is. This actually, we do have the specs here and we're going to be showing you in a second here. This is actually a Dell PowerEdge T420 and it is a server, but it is in a regular PC sort of form factor. It's actually looks more like a regular ATX case, just a little bit deeper than you would normally get. And it is heavy, but I have to say it's pretty straightforward. Now there's quite a bit about this. It has two 490 watt power supplies, which you would expect from a server. You do need to have redundancy just in case one of them fails. It has four gigabit ethernet ports. That is an E5-2407 version two Intel Xeon processor. It's running at 2.4 gigahertz. It's probably not the fastest that you can get for this, but it is a dual socket motherboard. So if you wanted to, you could stick a second CPU in there and I'm sure you could upgrade it beyond that as well. It's got 24 gigs of RAM in there. It should be error correcting RAM. And then really the meat and potatoes of this, you probably won't be able to see it on the video here just because it's pretty much all hidden back here. But the real reason this is such an exciting piece of hardware. It says 14 hard drives. They're each one terabyte. They are 2.5 inch SAS drives. They're running at 7,200 RPMs, which is pretty standard for a server like this. And I'm sure you could put SSDs in there if you're a baller and have enough money, but with 14 terabytes of storage, if you use something like RAID 1, and you have seven terabytes of usable storage on here, you could use this as a pretty serious backup machine. And in fact, something like this would be pretty killer if we were to put all of the media that we do here on PRN, put it onto this server, have it backed up essentially through RAID 1 so there is redundancy, and then plug all those ethernet ports in there and have a pretty killer system server here to be able to store all the files that we use for PRN. And I have to say, it looks pretty badass. If you don't really like server hardware, maybe you're not gonna get as excited as I am, but I think this is really cool. And the one thing that you'll notice too, there's only one fan. Such a big piece of hardware, so much going on, all the RAM and a relatively stock CPU cooler here, plus all those hard drives, it only actually needs one fan. But it is a pretty beefy case. It's pretty heavy too, we lifted it up and it's got some weight to it. But I'm pretty excited about this. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to plug it in and set it up right here, right now. This is just an unboxing, but we're gonna be doing some stuff with this little server, little, and we're gonna be hopefully being able to get Windows Server 2016 on here, maybe put some media on there and run it as a media encoding server for PRN to see if this will work better than our $4,000 iMac. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I hope you guys like server hardware as much as I do because we do have a number of them downstairs in our studio. We're just gonna be working our way through it. But again, because this one was sent to us more like a trial period, we wanted to get it done first to be able to unbox it and show it to you here. 
So I hope you did enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. You can hit the other button too if you didn't, but leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see us do with this because I'm going to get it set up over the next few days and we'll do some videos about it too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We did branch this off from the main Perpetual Radio Network's channel. So if you're coming over to us from Test Drive and you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. You'll be able to see some more stuff that we're doing here. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care. Thank you.